So in this video, we'll learn how you can simply make the PUBG style game in Unreal Engine 4. Okay, so first of all, as you can see, I create a simple template with a third person, uh, you know, basically it's a template. So now, first of all, we need the touch for our game. Okay, like we can basically touch our, you know, by touch control. So for do that, we need to just go to project settings and then we need to search here that first of all mouse and make sure it's enable. Once this thing done, we need to go to mobile, okay? And here you find the always show the touch interface. Then set it to left virtual joystick. Once this thing done, click on save. Now also one more thing you need to do, just double click and search this thing where it is. Make sure that you already set up this stuff, okay? Because as you can see 120 and other stuff. So if I click on now play, as you can see my joystick is already set up. It's quite enough good. Okay, everything is pretty much good. But as you can see, the live uh, our camera can't moving. So it's mean that we need to add the touch inputs for our camera that by with our touch, we can basically control our game. So for do that, we need to basically find out our character BP. And so once you go there, you need to just double click and open. And once you're done, you need to go to basically your event graph. So at here, you need to basically remove these codes. Now compile and save. Now at here, you need to search that touch okay and so once you get the touch now you need to create a custom event so click on custom event dot update post post that is basically the position then compile and save okay now we need a uh, output from this thing so for output we will be use that a vec vector and that is a vector 2d and set the parameter name uh, vec t or a vector 2d data so now we have the data now compile and save okay so from the location now we need to basically break it so we'll be from if we break okay we'll be basically be our break the vector so then basically we found the x and y basically the x x and y it's mean that uh basically it's kind of like you know uh, if i uh, tell that uh, we have now the x and y basically the x is basically up down and y is basically the left okay so now what you need that basically add update basically called you this custom event and now at here click on split this thing now connected x with x and y with y and then set it the move okay so basically the change the move with update and then we need to create another vector okay that is start uh, s t a uh, sorry s t a r t start post so then at here we need to set it uh, here that vector to the compile and save now just set it here so as you can see the vector have x and y split this thing so then we need to connect this thing with our press and release and also once this is the update done we need to connect it with this thing okay basically very simple now from x connected with this thing y connected with this thing now just double pin and just make it some you know nice okay so now compile and save so once this thing done from this thing we need to basically now you find that you need to set it to minus vector to float okay so basically that is your uh, the data okay now you need to click on split so you find basically the x and y but you need to add before do that you need to set it to a vector we see to your vector uh, we see t over vector uh, 2d okay vector 2d minus vector 2d okay and then you need to set it to the start position and whatever is the value you need to just minus with the uh, float okay so oh uh, sorry that is divided okay so yeah you need to divide it this thing so D I V I divided okay now basically this is your split or the sensitivity split that how much is if is if you do it so much increase like 10 or 12 it will be you know just move very fast kind of like basically the sensitivity okay now you have this thing so you from this thing you can basically be our key okay basically you can break this vector okay so also you can do split okay so you have now the x and y so basically we have the x and y so we can basically remove our gamepad improve uh, movement and also our control this stuff okay so we will be simply remove this thing and get our ear and pitch and so once we get the our ear and pitch we need to basically connect it with this thing 
so then we'll be connected with our ya with our ye x with ya and pitch with y okay basically very simple if there's any problem come will be changed now we need to connect this thing with our update post okay now compile and say basically our touch is is now ready now if i click on play so as you can see the touch is now working with our display okay very easy and as you can see it's very nice also okay because just in seconds we basically uh, add the basically touch input so now we need some action buttons kind of like jump run weapon picking and other stuff so let's create that so for creating that i already add some icons inputs in my uh, in my project that is uh, in my wire i'm not sure uh, maybe in my third person unders yeah in icons so now in the ui folder i create a user interface that is basically ui uh, player now just double click and open okay at here will be simply add the button now at the button i go to basically search here that basically the br and only if you search b you find the all the brush so now at here we can basically change this thing so let's go to my third person icons and first of all i set here the icon is the fire icon okay we need to set the all the icons at here so it will be work so as you can see in at here there's some problem at email so we need to fix this thing that is basically the pending so first of all if you said why is the pending zero let's set this thing box to image okay now it's done okay so now you can basically adjust how much we want so just set it to image and now at here will be set to 100 by 100 so you find the exactly basically the position so if you want you can make it bigger so let's make it 200 by 200 i think that is enough big for our firing okay if you want let's give it to 170 by 170 i think this is perfect okay so once you're done you need to just set the gravity to right side and give the button name that is fire b u -T, t o and fire button now compile and save basically we have the now fire button ah sorry button so with that now we can go to graph and from the event construct we can get all actor from class and once we get all actor from class we can get our player reference that is our basically third person uh, characters and from that we can get a copy and then we can promote a variable that player ref and now compile and save okay compile and save so basically our ui now we can see this fire button so now let's go to third person and let's add a called here that begin play okay so then we'll be create a wr widget and then at the widgets will be set our basically player ui and add to viewport okay so basically it will be connected now as you can see it's done so for getting here that for executing this thing let's add a custom event that fire okay so by this thing we can basically understand that are our custom ui is working or not so for now let's give it a print string that hello or working now okay now compile and save as you can see this is basically is done so now if we our this ex if you can execute this thing in our us so it's mean that it's working so now let's get our press that on clicked that we can now get our player reference that we can use that fire so as you can see it's coming so now let's click on save compile and save now let's click on play so now if i click on the button it should be say the hello if everything is working so yeah as you can see the working now it's displaying it's been that there's a working but as you can see some of image become problem so why this problem because we only change the basically if we check in brush so we only set the our basically the brush is box so we need to set all the stuff to image okay so it will be basically fix the all this stuff so as you can see all the image is now perfect now let's click on saved and let's try so as you can see everything is quite enough good right now so yeah guys that is i think that is good so 
by this thing now we don't need to basically make them again and again we need can duplicate basically so ctl plus w to duplicate and then now at here we can basically change our icons like the aim icon so we need to just search at the v and uh, just connect it just change okay so it will be work okay compile and save there's a one more button we need as i know uh, not this one sorry so duplicate now let's give it here now we'll be give it to bag okay so as you can see it's done so but don't forget to change the gravity compile and save now i think this is quite enough good now let's click on play yeah it's good just need to change the backpack location let's click on build the lights so it will be build our all the lights and once that thing done uh, uh, that thing done our basically game will be created 100% good in next uh, time uh, we'll be at the weapon picking system the basically back picking system and then other system will be created okay will be create so just to wait for that video and if you had an tough question you can comment in my comment box also if you want you can support me in by patreon also for contact me in telegram facebook and other links available so you can check so guys as you can see the everything is quite enough good okay everything is pretty much working so if you have any question you can comment us thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in next video and take care yourself